comments or questions on agenda items? Yeah. At this time, just have a couple of announcements. Uh, the, the board has received a letter of rec a resignation from our um, solicitor, from the solicitor firm of Tucker and Aaronsburg, uh, and our solicitor Chris Volts. You know, that letter here, and uh, the board met on uh, December 29th in executive session, we interviewed uh, other potential firms for the solicitorship, and I think it, in the first item on the agenda, we will take some action on that. But the other announcement, too, is uh, our historical society will meet on Wednesday, February 15th, here at this township municipal building. Um, Pavilion Reynolds, that I know everybody is anxious for that, for residents, it will be on Friday, March 3rd, and uh, for non-residents, it will be on Friday, March 10th. So at this time, I'd like to have a resolution. It'll be resolution number 026-2017 to um, consider the appointment of a solicitor for the township. Is there a motion? I make that motion. I, I assume the motion will be for, for the firm of uh, Strasburger McKenna, Dekanik and Gefsky, uh, naming Gretchen Moore, and our Alameen Shukro as our two uh, representatives to the board. As I take it, that's part of your motion. I'll second that motion. It, it's been moved. Frank, that's your motion, right? Yes. It's been moved and seconded. Those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 No. The motion carries. Carol, it's a uh, four to one. Please record the vote as such. Uh, Gretchen, would you please uh, come up? and the law firm of Strasburg and McKenna, I want to thank this board uh, for this appointment. Uh, I do look forward to working with each and every member of this board, uh, as well as everybody up here who supports this board. Uh, we also look forward to getting uh, getting to know the resin residents of Cecil. With that, let's start our meeting. Turn back to you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Christian. Um, for resolution 027-2017, that's to consider the purchase of four police vehicles uh, that we discussed in and uh, included in our adopted budget. Uh, Chief, I know you had some prices roughly to uh, share with us for the breakdown. Yes, Mr. Chairman, not including the installments, I have the quote from Wilson Wind Ford, it's through the Shea Hog program that we typically go through. Uh, four vehicles will be at $132,940. And that is including the five-year service plan that includes everything that we uh, spoke to the uh, mechanics about. It does assist with any kind of repairs once the cars have some longevity. Um, so that is the price for the vehicles. Uh, and also there is a, a, a charge for the installment in, uh, of all the equipment of the vehicles. Was it transferred? Correct, yes. And what, what you have in your budget? Uh, what did you have in your budget total for that? You provided us with $180,000 in there. Uh, I'm looking at approximately $35,000 for the transfer of all equipment. So that would take us up to around $168,000 for everything. $35,000 to transfer? Yes. You heard it. Is there a motion to... Uh, so I move. I make a motion that we purchase four police vehicles not to exceed the budget amount of $180,000. Is there a second to that motion? Second. It's good. Yeah, right after the second, we get the second. Just, um, Chief, you had mentioned earlier just that two or four would have been sufficient, or that, how are you planning to use these, sir, if you don't mind me asking? Yes, it discussed at the budget meeting. Uh, this is replacing four vehicles that have 100,000 miles on them. Uh, right now, we surrendered two vehicles, I believe, the if not mistaken, they're going to be auctioned off. Those were the vehicles that were not able to be inspected anymore. So I took two Dodge Chargers, uh, and they were actually temporarily being used by our lieutenant and in our investigations until we get the four vehicles in. So those vehicles will be taking place of vehicles with over 100,000 miles on them. Okay. They, those two didn't actually pass inspection? They would not pass inspection. Well, no, it, it was actually dangerous if they were driving those vehicles. Very well. Thank you. Any other comments? Questions? 
All right, those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 The motion carries. Uh, for 028 2017, it's considered a site plan, then development plan application for a retail uh, store at Dollar General located along next to the township building on Miller's Run Road here. Uh, I think there's somebody here from the applicant. Thank you guys. Sean, Sean, hold up one second. I have a lot of officers here. I think there's a lot of new ones that probably residents haven't met. Would you mind just at least introducing them while they're here before they all fall out the door? All the, all the new officers. I think they John, should be required John, to give a speech, too. <laughs> I'll do the new one. Okay. 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 It doesn't matter. Officer, if you're here, you're your butt. I'm Officer Adam Item. I've been here for about three and a half years. Officer Avery. Officer Quinlan, you're about eight months now. Officer Odie, same thing, eight months. 